Good morning, Libras. It's awful nice to have you. Thanks for stopping by. Well, I want to remind you that you don't have to be a Libra to stop by the Old Swedes Bungalow. If you feel drawn to this uh, channel, the, this reading could very well be for you. So you might want to give it a try. Of course, these readings aren't for everybody. Just so uh, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. For some other Libra or some other guest who may be stopping by. You're dealing with somebody that you don't think is com compatible with you. And they're embarrassed to talk to you. This person uh, wanted to see you hurt. They still might want to see you hurt. Now, they're very upset. They're not, they're not a happy camper. person needs money right now, so watch out. They're grubbing for money. They may be going around trying to get loans from people so that they can pay their bills. You like your alone time, Libra. Yeah, so some of you might be spending quite a bit of time alone lately. <clears throat> yeah, this person uh, played games with you, game player, couldn't take it serious. Yeah, it was all for fun, fun and games with them. But you ended up crushing their ego. And that's why this person wants to see you hurt. Their ego is very, very important to them. Yep. And you knocked them down a peg or two. They're very upset. Yep. This situation was left without closure. So you, you both feel like you, you could use some clarity. This person really wants some clarity. You may have you may have seen all you want to see, but this person uh, is left been left confused. They don't feel like this is over yet. You're gonna have to watch out because they're vengeful. They're a vengeful person. If they feel that you've wronged them in some way, they might try and get back at you. They're jealous of you. Yeah. This person harbors a jealousy for you. Yeah. You're not the first heart they've broken. No, you are not. This person's ego is huge and they get off on conquering. Yeah. Relationships to them are a game, and they set out to win. They wanted to win, but they didn't. And they're angry about it. They're jealous. They see you moving on without them. Your person's being watched. Somebody's watching their every move. I don't know if it's the law. I think it's like somebody that they're, they may be involved in <clears throat> is watching them to see who they're talking to, you know, what they're doing. This person's jealous of you. The person in your energy is jealous of you, but they have a person that they're connected to that's jealous of them. Or jealous of your relationship with this person. 
They made you feel entirely worthless when you separated. They acted like it was no big deal. That they could just move on and go about their merry business without being affected. And it, it was just their attempt to make you feel like you didn't matter to them, like you were just worthless to them. That's not the case, really. This person, like I say, is just a player. Game player. <sighs> yeah, you, you had a whole different opinion of this person when you first met him. And as time went on, you came to realize that you never really knew him. You thought they were one, one way. It turned out they were completely opposite of what you thought they were. That must have really blown your mind. You never really knew them. I think this person's facing scandal for the way they've treated others in the past. I think their, their uh, history is coming to light. You can only game people for so long until your community or, you know, word's going to get out that you're no good. And this could be happening to this person right now. They're getting some backlash from people around them. Of course, also seeing them in another light, a more negative light, just like you. You never really knew them, and these people around them are saying the same thing. They're in shock, too. You know. They never really knew him either. So this person's been wearing a mask or, or acting, playing a role. A lot of you have been turning your pain into power, personal power. And that's, that's good because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what the universe would have you do. Because emotional pain is the teacher. You learn a lot from that kind of pain. This person's hard up for money. Or at least they're not, they don't have that much coming in. Not as much as they'd like or they're used to. So something's gone a little haywire with their finances. Yeah, they're grubbing for money over here. And if they have a lot of bills, that could be a really serious issue with them. Keep peeking out here, out the window. There's a mysterious vehicle out there parked on the edge of my property. And I'm just looking at it, trying to figure out who in the heck it is. So you got a new person coming in. Somebody who's honest and lovable. So you don't have to worry about love or where it's coming from. There's people out there who are interested in you, David. Especially this one person. One new person. Yeah. As far as this person's concerned, it's in your energy that you've been dealing with. You're seeing behind their secrets and all their deceit now. Yeah, it's painful for you. But you're getting a more clear picture of how this person operates. Maybe some of you have been looking for love in the wrong places, Libra. You're going to have to learn to recognize the red flags. Because those red flags will always come back to bite you in the butt if you ignore them. You might want to step up your game a little bit with who you associate with in the future. Always have some boundaries. Don't close off your heart, but always have some moral boundaries, ethical, moral boundaries. This person's been praying for another chance with you. 
Yeah, they have. And there again, like I just got through saying, be open to new love. Have boundaries, but don't close your heart off. Denying Libra love and romance is almost a sin to the universe because, I mean, that's your sign. You're a Venusian. That's all about love and romance. So a lot of you may feel like, oh, I don't care about love anymore. I'm over it. I'm just going to stay single and not get, but that's, that's not really in your heart. Librans are in love with love. Or you should be. So open, be open to new love. It's like I said, this new person coming in is going to be a sweetheart. Yeah. You were indeed seduced by a very clever player, master manipulator. That's how they operate. And this manipulator is praying for another chance with you. <clears throat> yeah, they're about to have an emotional breakdown, actually. Yeah, you did something to this person that they probably have never experienced before, and so they don't just don't know how to assimilate it. They don't know how to process the love that you gave them. A little bit too intense for them, I think. This person's a little bit afraid of love. They're superficial. Insecure, too, because they have a big ego. Ego that just got bruised and crushed. and You did something to it. I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Jealousy. Person's green with envy. They think you're dating somebody else. Some of you might be. Oh, it's just really killing them, too. Even if you're not, they think you are. I've been dreaming about you. Yeah, they see you in their dreams. They wish their dreams would never end. They just want to stay asleep and in that dream forever. Wow. Now they're fantasizing about you now. Distance must have made the heart grow fonder. Yeah, but they're really focused on money. They need money. They might not have a lot of time for love right now. Yeah, they need financial stability. And they probably feel like in order for them to have a relationship with anybody, they got to get their finances together. Yeah, this person claims that they're going inside to find themselves. They don't really know what they want out of life. All they know is they need a little space. Hmm. They need a little space to figure things out about themselves. But in the reality of it all, in the long run, they want you two to be together forever. They realize they've got to find themselves. They've got to put themselves together properly. It's going to take some work. Not only do they have to get their finances together, they've got to get this ego under control. This isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. 
It's not really goodbye. We'll be together soon. This person keeps claiming they need space. They need time. You might not want to give them any more time. What kind of an excuse is that? Work on it together. If you want them. Or if they want you, right? There's something I really want to share with you. I'm, I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. So they've got some big news that they want to lay on you. Could be how they really truly feel about you. Now this person has been very secretive. Unblock me. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me so we can speak. I have a lot to say. Now you might have this person blocked online or something like that, but you also might have them just blocked right out of your emotions. Just not talking to them at all, even if they write to you or whatever, you're not answering. You're my favorite. Well, they got a lot of options. This person could be used to having people chase them. But you're the person that they like the most. And they, they feel like you're the one they want to call when something good happens to them or when something bad happens to them. You're their go-to person. You're the one they feel that they can share with. This person keeps a lot of secrets, but they might have opened up to you in some way in the past that wasn't like them at all. A little out of character. But they, they filled in on, on how they are. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier just to stay in silence. So this person is confused. They know they can't come let their ego speak for them anymore. So without that ego leading the way, they're lost. There's a side to you I haven't seen, but I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. Maybe you are the conservative one in this party. Neighbor. Or you're not really conservative. You're just as much fun as the next person. But you, you stayed serious through this relationship. And that's what you were focusing on. So... They just saw your serious, more conservative side. You were trying to keep this thing together. It was no time to be wild and crazy. They want to see you cut loose, though. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. This person's afraid of you. Not physical fear, any kind, anything like that. It's they're afraid of the emotions that you bring out in them. Like, like I said, they're they're on the verge of an emotional breakdown because they've never experienced this before, or they haven't experienced anything like this for a long time. And they just don't know how to deal with it. They've been used to staying in a comfort zone, an area where they stayed superficial, never let themselves fall in love, maybe never let anybody fall in love with them either, completely. Actually, I think several people have fallen in love with this person and they ended up getting hurt. Not your person, but the people that got involved with them got hurt by them because it all has to do with this giant ego. They feed this ego. It's like a monster. It needs more and it needs more. And what that is is, is people's energy. This person in your energy 
feeds their ego with other people's energy, if that makes any sense. Like an energy vampire. Hmm. And now they're on the other end of the stick. They're the one that's having an emotional breakdown. You probably had an emotional breakdown already after everything this person's ego put you through. Now they're just waiting. They're waiting for you to get a hold of them, to contact them. You're waiting for them. They're waiting for you to make the pain go away. They want you to kiss their owie. And make the pain go away. Yeah. Every day that goes by, they seem to hurt a little bit more. And if you just show up and treat them nicely, feed their ego, they'd feel a heck of a lot better. That's what they're waiting for. Yeah, they've had to this person has gone inside. They've done some praying. They've, they've t been asking questions, looking for answers. They're in a whirlwind of confusion and contradiction. They feel they're in love with you, but at the same time, they're jealous of you. They're pissed off at you. They just don't know what they want or how to get it or like I say, they're on the verge of an emotional breakdown. And I don't think it's because of any great love they have for you. I think it's because, well, they do love you. They do have feelings for you. But I think this emotional breakdown is happening because of everything around them in general that is finally caught up with them. They just, you know, scandal possibly and everything else like that. They just don't know if they can take it. They've lived this lifestyle or been in this egotistical energy for so long that now that their ego has been crushed, they're coming unglued over it. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, they could be getting it from every angle, too. You're not the only person that they've hurt. And I think a lot of this is coming to light. You took a time out for quite some time. You had to uh, figure out what was going on in your life. You needed some inspiration, some guidance. And I think you figured something out. Yeah. You're not hanging around anymore in limbo. You figured it out, and you might have a plan, and you're ready to put it into action. Yeah, you spent sleepless nights worrying and stressing over this situation and this person. This person is standing firm in that ego. They just can't let it go. No matter how crushed it gets, no matter how bruised it is, they just can't let go of that ego. 
They want to talk, though. They really want to talk to you. But it doesn't look like they're going to make the first move. So they're just going to stay stuck. You know, they did their praying. They did. They went, went inside to do a little, <clears throat> you know, retrospect of themselves. But they're still stuck. Stuck in their ego. Wow. You're in your Empress energy, Libra. Yep. So you're getting it all together. When you were in limbo, when you were doing all this thinking, trying to get some answers, you got some answers. And I think some of those answers were that uh, you need to start taking better care of yourself. You realize that you, you needed to get a little bit more selfish and start paying attention to your own needs. <clears throat> yeah, there's going to be no more sleepless nights for you. No more crying, no more stressing out. No... You're coming back into your true nature, the one the universe intended for you to be, to have. The empress, the nurturer, the good parent, well-rounded. You know what the empress is all about. It's every queen in the deck combined, all those good qualities. Oh, yeah. I think you finally realize that this scenario with this person in your energy was a karmic experience for you. It was a lesson. Yeah, they put you through a lot of pain, a lot of agony, a lot of confusion. Did you deserve that karma? I don't know. Sometimes you don't have to deserve karma. You know? It uh, doesn't have to be negative. Um, you, the universe just felt it was time for you to learn a great big lesson. Even though that pain, that lesson may be painful, in the long run, it's really good for you. And I think you finally realized that this was a karmic lesson and that you should... Uh, you know, learn from it. Emotional pain is the teacher. It helps you rise up. The person in your energy wants to move ahead. They want the better things in life. They might want to travel. They might be a traveler. They're adventuresome. And they're usually a kind of a happy-go-lucky person, at least appearance-wise on the outside. But they're moving ahead. They feel like they're moving into a, a new cycle. And I think they are. There might have might be something happening physically in their in their world right now changes being made whereas they're able to move on in a better direction this person might have been stuck somehow not just in their emotions or stuck in their own character or the ego they might have been actually stuck in a relationship or by a family or Something like that. Now they're, they're moving on in a more free direction. And that's what they want anyway. I think they'd like to talk to you about that. I think they'd like to share their plans with you if you'd talk to them.
Yeah, they don't have the nerve. They they could live up to what you want them to be. They just don't have that type of character or nerve right now. They could be a little embarrassed. Yeah, they're embarrassed to talk to you. They want to talk to you, but they're embarrassed. That was one of the first cards that came out. Mm -hmm. They might have tried to play this relationship off lightly. They didn't want to give themselves away. They didn't want you to know how they really felt. Well, of course, it all goes back to their ego. Yeah, I think... Uh, no matter how much they want to come back and approach you, they just they just can't do it. I don't know if it's their ego completely, pride, money situation. Could be a combination of several different reasons why they're not coming back. Yeah. I think they have this deep rooted feeling that you're not compatible. That they're just not compatible with anybody. I don't think they're feeling very good about themselves right now. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're angry not only with you, but they're angry at themselves as well. Like I say, though, watch out for this person could be a little vengeful. They might try and get back at you for leaving them. They blame you for leaving them when they're when they didn't have it all together. They wanted you to wait. They wanted you to wait till they got it all together, but it looks like you've waited a long time, and uh, you're not going to wait till hell freezes over for this person. Yeah. You had plans and aspirations, too. You had ideas. You had dreams. You saw yourself creating with this person, a home, family, being abundant together. You see that fading away now. That doesn't mean you're not going to get it. You're just not going to get it with this person at this time. Yeah, they betrayed you in many different ways. Mm -hmm. And you had to pull every one of those swords out one at a time. Let's see. It's a ten of swords. You probably know what it looks like. I don't have a monitor, so I can't tell if you can see this or, or what. But ten of swords. There's a guy laying there. He's got ten swords sticking out of his back. Well, it came in reverse like this. So to me, where the cards lay right here, that means they put you through all kinds of pain, but you're getting over it. You're healing, and you've learned a big lesson from it. And you're going to carry that lesson with you and put it to good use later in your life, right? Yep, you had to pull each one of those out by yourself, reach back there and sew each, each one up. All by yourself. This person was nowhere to be found. Lord knows what they were doing while you were going through all this pain and trying to heal yourself. Yeah, they're at a big crossroads now. They want this world card. They want it really bad. In fact, they're, they're stalwart about it. They're, no matter what, you know, no matter what happens or whatever, they want this world card. They want to move on. They want some adventure. They want to travel. But they have just about everything they need except the money and you. They're at a big crossroads. They're trying to decide. Trying to decide. Yeah. They're confused. They, they don't know which way to turn right now. They're way up in their emotions. The two of swords here, that's, you know, that's a lot of blue. They're very emotional. They're cut off. They, they might have you blocked. You could have them blocked. They're staying that way. They're stubborn. They're set in their ego. They know they've got to 
They're at a crossroads in their life and they have to make some big decisions. They're not doing it yet. They're just sitting there still. Sitting there up in their head. You know, if they could just release this ego and be themselves, if they weren't so insecure, if they could just be their normal, God-given self, then this person's life would be a lot happier. And this reading, like I say, it's just all massive ego. Yeah, they're trying to figure something out. They really are. They're trying to figure out how they can come back without uh, groping or feeling like they've lost. They want to win. They're a game player. They want to win the game. And right now they feel like you're winning, like you've won the game. So they're going to hang in there until they win. And then what are they going to do once, once they feel like they've won? Control you now? Hmm. Well, I think this person's used to being large and in charge. You knocked them off their throne or their pedestal or whatever. Bruise their ego. And they just don't know how to deal with it. They're completely flabbergasted at how this ever happened. I think they had it in their head that if you walked away or when this ended or whatever, that they could just, it would be no big deal. It'd just be a flighting moment. Hey, see you later. Ha, ha, ha. I'm moving on. But that's not the case. They're hurting over this. They're re realizing some things about themselves that they were avoiding in the past. But now they can't avoid these issues any longer because you've made them face it. You slap that ego down. Boy, they're doing everything they can to prop that ego back up. They just love that ego. You, you found out they were insincere. That's just the whole thing in the, in the nutshell. They were insincere. They weren't serious. So they made it seem like that they were all into you and loved you and all that. And they do have feelings for you, but they're a player. And they didn't want to get caught up like this. So they ran away. They ran off on you, emotionally anyway. They ran off on the Empress. They couldn't live up to you. You were too much for them. This person feels more comfortable around low vibrational people. You vibe high. As the Empress, you vibe very high. Made them feel uncomfortable. Their ego was always shaky. Their ego couldn't, you know, hang on. It, it, it wanted to fall back. It wanted to tip over. Their ego wanted to collapse. And they, they need desperately to hold that ego up. So that's what, that's what happened here. I'm going to have a hard time explaining today, but this person's hard to explain. It's that massive, massive ego. It totally controls their being. They, they absolutely wouldn't know what to do if they ever let this ego go. They can't even imagine what it would be like without their ego. I think this person's lived with this mask for so long that they're afraid of themselves. They may not even know who they really are. They never give themselves a chance, their authentic self. They don't give them a chance. They just keep this 
mask on, playing a role. Looks like my camera's still going for a little while, for a minute maybe. <laughs> um, you, you know, after you experience this Ten of Swords, you discovered your own self-worth. You realized, hey, I'm better than this. Why am I subjecting myself to this kind of suffering? From some obvious character right here who is insincere in the first place. Why am I subjecting myself to this? I'm better than that. Yeah, you started to get your self-worth propped up where it needed to be. Yep, and this person now, they're just thinking about the memories with you. You shared some good memories, and they felt, they, they feel that you're a soulmate. You're their favorite. If there's anybody they want to be with, it's you. You might have known this person for quite a while, too. But there was a separation, and it was painful. For, for both parties. Now they want to come back with a passionate new offer. Mm -hmm. They're lustful for you. They're passionate towards you. They want to feel that energy again. You made them feel really good with all that love you gave them. Went straight to their ego, though. Pumped their ego up like a balloon, and then they went out in the public or the community, and they just let that, the air out of that balloon and let it gush all out over everybody else. All the love you gave them, they poured it out on other people. And then they would come back to have their balloon filled up again so that they could go out and let that balloon, the air out of that balloon. <laughs> anyway, they miss you and they want you back. They want a fresh start. So be ready for that. I don't think they're coming back. They're too ego egotistical. If you want this person, I don't know what you're going to do. I was going to say you, you'll have to make the first move, but then you'll just be feeding their ego, and they'll just go out after the balloon is full and spray it all over other, but everybody else again. Take your love and your good energy, and use it as their own. Yeah, your ships are coming in. You, you are under the impression that your future looks bright, and it does. I think you've been doing some work, and the work you've been doing is going to pay off. Anyway, <clears throat> you're looking out up optimistically mm -hmm. oh yeah you found out something about this person you discovered some of their secrets your intuition is sharp and right on so something came to light and when that happened when you discovered things about this person that's when you started feeling better about yourself. Re realizing that it wasn't you, it was them. <clears throat> and that you were a good person. That you do deserve better. You deserve more. You're in touch with your higher power. You have spirituality. And that's something that this person must be lacking in. I think that bothers them too, knowing that you're on a higher spiritual plane than they are. That's also not good for their ego, because this person wants to be above everybody. They think they're the best. They think they're the greatest. They think they know it all. They just strut around in that ego. Whoa. Yeah. This is an ego maniac. Like I say, this reading isn't for everybody. You know, 
You couldn't possibly be involved with an egomaniac. But for those who are, this is your reading. You figured him out. Not completely, though, because this person is deep with secrets. But you figured out enough about this person to, to regain your own self-worth. Start putting the pieces of your life back together. Ooh, looks like I still got a little time. My uh, batteries have been running out on me prematurely for some reason. Seems like. I need to figure myself out. Well, yes. Push that ego aside a little bit and get to work. I can't handle your love. Right. It's too intense. They're used to superficial relationships. You wanted something serious. You were dead serious. They were playing games. Please give me a second chance. Well, that's up to you, Libra. How much of this you can handle. In my heart, I think you're better off without me. Well, yeah, they're, they're feeling pretty shitty about themselves. Yep, the way I have treated you was wrong. Yeah, they're feeling crappy about themselves. They know they treated you like a doormat. They were insincere, playing games. I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much better. Well, at least this person seems to see your worth, Libra. They realize that you're a good person. That you have a lot of love in your heart and a lot of love to give. Mm, I'm getting sloppy with these things. Got my little gnomes back with me. Yeah, I, I like them. I'm kind of a. feel connected to them for, for some reason. They were given to me as a gift this year, and I just think they're cute. They, they kind of fit. Maybe I'll keep them on the bar all year. Nah. No, I won't do that. Now, this person wants the situation between you guys to change. Will this ever change? Well, that's up to them. Or, or you. Yeah, your intuition is really strong. The universe wants to remind you that if you ignore those red flags that you've learned to uh, recognize now, it's all going to come back to bite you in the butt. So for the rest of your life, watch out for the red flags. You don't want to get hurt like this again. This is a huge karmic lesson for you. Mm-hmm. Most of you realize that now. <clears throat> this person has a lack of confidence in themselves. That's why they sabotage relationships. Yeah, they're jealous. They're jealous of you. They just, they can't put enough into a relationship to get enough out of it. So they stay frustrated. They want the other person to give, 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 or they, they have a hard time giving or sharing their feelings or anything with, with people. So it's like Reminds me of that expression, the love you give is the love you get.
this person doesn't give enough love, and then they wonder, why aren't I receiving love? Because they don't give it. Not in the proper, healthy manner, anyway. I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. That's why they're so confused. No, they have not loved anyone the way they love you. It's hurting them. It's causing them emotional breakdown, emotional pain. They can't process this kind of love. Like I say, they've always been superficial. They're they're not deep. They, they're afraid of love or not used to the feeling of love. Well, I did let my battery run out on me. We were right at the end of the reading anyway. So we'll look at this again next time. Until then, Libras, peace and love to you.